Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel. My name is Moon, and it has been a while since I recorded a video. I think it's been almost a month, and I just decided to take a little break from shooting videos because I just went on summer break. I just kind of wanted to check out with everything, but now I'm back and so excited to dive back into doing some more reviews and comparisons for this channel because I love the YouTube community here and I am watching videos all the time. Another reason why I took a little break is because I wanted to kind of step back and look at my collection of handbags and SLGs and my clothes, shoes, and scarves and think about what I want to keep, what I want to donate, what I want to sell because I'd like to move towards more intentional buying. Not minimalism exactly, though I do like the minimalist philosophy. I think I like more variety in my collection than your um, average minimalist, at least on YouTube from what I've seen. But I do think it's important to live intentionally and create an intentional collection. So I'll also be doing some videos on that moving forward. Anyway, today I wanted to do a review of my Neverfull GM in the Damier Eben print. What a beautiful tote. And I will say, actually quite heavy right now. It is packed with a lot of stuff. Not full, I could definitely get more in here. But I love this beautiful bag. And you can see I've got the Burberry Bear bag charm on here. This was a birthday present from my boo and I did an unboxing of this um, bag charm. But I just wanted to add this to my collection just because it's so adorable. I think it looks great on this bag. And the legs and arms on this little guy actually move. You could get this in a lot of different colors and patterns if you go to the Burberry website. And I just think it's such a cute little thing. It is a bit out there. If I, you know, carry the bag to work, I'll sometimes put the uh, Burberry Bear on an inside hook, like over here, so it's not dangling on the bag, just because it can be a little loud for certain situations. But I will confess that I totally love it, and I love it on this bag. And isn't this a beautiful Neverfull GM? Oh my gosh, in the Aben print, I just think this is a great bag, a real phenomenal bag. And I wanted to add this to my collection because I love this print and I have the Alma BB in this particular print, but that's the only other bag I have in this print. And I can't fit my PM cosmetic pouch uh, or my small agenda in there. I mean, I can get my small agenda in there, but then I can't carry much else. So usually when I use my Alma BB, I can't use some of my Damier Iben SLGs in there, but I wanted a bag that was big enough where I could use all of it in there. And I just love the Neverfull. I've got four of these bags and um, there's just something simple, easy about this. And I know that this is sort of referred to as the basic B bag, but you know, call me a basic B all you like. I just think the Neverfull is awesome. So um, I'll put the measurements of the bag somewhere over here so you can take a look at it, but it is quite a big bag. You can fit a whole lot in here. And I also love the French red interior. And you can see I've got a bag organizer in here and here's a preview as to how things look inside. But I just think this bag is so comfortable to carry, even now as filled as it is, um, you could see that because it, it's only filled up to here. I can easily just, you know, keep it close to my person and put my arm right there and tuck it in. And it's just like so awesome to carry. And it's great in terms of wear and tear. I mean, this is a new bag. I got it last fall, fall 2020. But uh, I just imagine even with wearing it for years that it will stay fine. Now, with the GM size and the Aben print, if you want to cinch in the sides, I would say that's the one place where you're likely to experience some wear and tear. And I've been kind of shy to do that. And in fact, when I first got this bag, I love the cinched in look. Oh my God. But when I first got this bag, I was a bit shy to cinch in on the sides just because you're bound to see wear and tear hair along the leather at the top. But as time's gone on, 
I just want to wear the bag. It's going to show wear. That's fine. And, um, you know, I just, I like the cinched in look. I bought the bag to wear it. And if, you know, worse comes to worse, if the leather cracked, I could always get it replaced. So I'm not going to worry about that so much anymore. But whether I wear it as an open floppy tote or just wear it like this, I just really, really love it. And you can do so many looks with the Neverfull GM. That's one of the cool things about the GM size versus the MM. I have the MM in the Azure print. I love that bag too. But cinched in, it looks a little funny to me. Whereas with the GM, you can have it open, you can have it cinched in, and you can give it different looks depending on what bag organizer you're using inside. So it's a really versatile bag. You can even use this bag as a handbag. I have carried it with no bag organizer and just like five or six essentials and just carried it in my hands and it fits comfortably over the crook of my arm, especially if there's not a lot in there. So lots of different options with this bag. So let me uncinch it here and let's take a look at what I have inside. Now you'll see this tag here. This tag is for my bag organizer. I'll pull it out at the end to show you. I do love this organizer. And for some reason, I've just kept the tag on there. I do need to take that off. But um, I think I'm just more recently getting into using the bag. And since I'm home for the summer, I love using the GM at home. And I have it in the Azure print. I have it in this print as well. So I just kind of switch off between the two. And I just... Like at home, I can just look in, see my items, really easy to see things. And then if I want to switch into a smaller bag, if I'm popping out, I can just, you know, get what I need out of here. And so I just love the convenience of the bag. And so as I go from living room to bedroom to study room, dining room, I carry this bag with me and it just has everything I need in there. If I feel like writing, I've got that in there. If I have, want to read, I've got that in there. I need to do my to-do list. I have my organizer, my makeup, my medicinal things. So really, I don't know. This is just like my tote around office and like makeup station and, um, you know, hobbies. Everything sort of fits in here. And so I just love using the bag that way at home. So again, let's take a look at what I have in here. Uh, so real quickly, I've got my hand sanitizer. This is EO Lavender. Love, love, love this and I carry that around with me. I have a little mace for self-protection, and so there it is, and actually you point it that way, and I had to kind of learn that in the beginning, how to use it, but I do like to keep this with me for protection. I have my small round coin purse in the monogram print. This is one of my favorite pieces, and I keep my earbuds in there. I got this from Fashion File just a few months ago my little key clay which i use as a space to hold my cough drops and i also have a lip gloss tucked in there so you know this is just a neat little pouch for those little items i have my rosalie coin purse in the monogram print and with the rose ballerine interior love this little wallet it is definitely my favorite I love how compact it is, but I can fit everything I need in here. My stamps, my cash, coins, which I don't tend to carry, but there's a slot for that if I do use cash and I have some coins in return. All my cards, gift cards, it really is such a beautiful little wallet. I have my pen case. I love this because it's so compact. You can get like four or five pens in here. And I have my name, Moon, etched on here in silver. I wish that was gold, but I do love this piece so much that I'm hanging on to it for now. Here is my PM Cosmetic Pouch in the Damier Eben print. Love this piece. One of my favorites. And I keep some medicinal things and makeup things in there. So this is definitely an essential. I have my reading glasses in this little pouch I got from Amazon and I have been carrying this for a few years now, maybe like three years, and I just love this. I love how quirky it looks. I have another pair of glasses. I do wear glasses, so take those off and show you. I've got these black glasses on, 
but um, these are blue light blocking prescription glasses. So if I'm on the computer, I'll switch into these if I'm gonna be on there for a while and it really saves the eyes from exhaustion and dry eye. I have my cell in there. I am actually recording with my iPhone 11, but just to show you um, that this fits in there, I have my iPhone 7. And of course your phone's gonna fit in this big old bag. Here is my key clay, also in the monogram print. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Got this as a Christmas present from my boo. I love the brown interior and just like the classic look of it with the gold button. My mini pochette in the monogram print. Love this piece. I got it pre-loved from Fashion File and I use it as a tech pouch. And it's just such a cute item. I just love holding it in my hands and it's so versatile. You can use it in so many different ways. I have this particular pochette. Now the Neverfull GM comes with the Damier Iben pochette or pouch and I have that tucked into this drawer over here and I ordered this particular pouch from Fashion File and I just love the bright pink interior. It just makes me happy. I keep my Kindle in here and for some reason I just have gravitated towards using this particular pouch between my Neverfulls and I don't know why I'm keeping the other ones new or I want to be able to use them as like mini handbags and I think of this one more as a pouch. So for now this one's getting a lot of wear. I have this poetry collection that I started reading. I am a fan of poetry, so I'm carrying that with me. I have this little notebook to jot down ideas and lists. It's like a brain dump notebook. I love how thin it is, and it's from Rifle Paper Company. And I just I have a whole stack of these that I keep um, switching into once I finish one notebook, just because they're so lightweight and easy to carry. And I just like a notebook space where I can write whatever, taking notes in a meeting, a list, whatever comes to mind. A little pouch for my sunglasses. So you can see I've got three pairs of glasses in there. And then some Kleenex in this little pouch. I have this little compact, which is just a, like a little compact I purchased on Etsy for maybe around like 30 US dollars or so. And it's made with upcycled Louis Vuitton canvas. And I use this as like a little pill container. It's a little pill box and it's got a little mir mirror in there. So I just think that's so cool. And I just like how um, gaudy it is in a way, <laughs> the gold. So I carry this with me and usually there are more pills in there, but um, I have like Tylenol and things like that or like digestive enzymes that I keep in there. And then here is my PM agenda, my favorite, my favorite organizer of all time. A look at the dashboard there, but I am such a convert to the small agenda. I love it. This paired with this larger notebook just works really well. And that is it for the bag. And you can see the organizer in there. Let me pull it out. This is from Divide and Conquer. And since I do have the tag still on there, I can show it to you. So I, again, this is so lightweight and it goes in on the sides. So if you want to cinch in your bag, you can do that. I love the slip pockets. They vary in size and there are even some on the corner where you could slip a pen or like that mace I showed you or hand sanitizer. And then there's this white plastic board at the base to give it structure. Now you could put it in your bag without the base. And if you wanted a more floppy look, you have that option. So I like that this is removable. Right now, I kind of wanted a more structured feel to the bag, so I have left it in there. But this matches the red really well. And this is on the pricier side for me, for bag organizers. I think this was around 60 US dollars and I purchased it from Etsy, maybe 70 US dollars, something like that. But I have to say, it's a great piece. I mean, it's just a stunning, and it comes packaged beautifully when you get it in the mail. So I'm gonna put that on the side. Oh, and then here is a little um, wire extender that fell out of my tech pouch. And then there is, of course, the large slip pocket in there. 
you could fit a lot in there. Like if you're worried about security with this bag, you could get your wallet and um, you know personal items in there, no problem. I have like a little like girl pouch with my you know time of the month kinds of things in there. And so I just keep that in that zip pocket. So that is everything. The bag floppy and empty. And again, it's a beauty to carry this way too. If you just put in a few items, like your very essentials, like if I was popping out, I'd probably need my organizer in there. I need some Kleenex in there. I would need my phone, my makeup case, and my sunglasses, hand sanitizer, my wallet, and cough drops. Those would be my essentials if I'm going out and you know just running errands or something and everything's at the bottom over there but I just wanted to show you here at the very end that if you wanted to use this bag as a handbag as I was saying earlier with just those very few items in there and you have it cinched in I just think it works so well I mean look at that it looks small tiny and it's a completely different look. You've got it on your shoulder, it's really floppy, and you can just go in and get your items. You have to kind of reach in. The thing with the organizer is the items are elevated a little, so they're closer to the top, and it is a tall bag, but um, it's just another look with the bag, and it's still very comfortable. I mean, this is more like large handbag style rather than large tote suddenly. So lots of options with this bag. Overall, I would say this is a beautiful piece. I can't say more about the Neverfull. I just love it so, so much. And I would love it if you enjoyed my review today that you give me a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments, uh, what are your thoughts on the Neverfull GM or MM? Which do you prefer and why? And do you have a favorite print? I love hearing from you and I try my best to respond to every comment. Thanks and hope to see you in the next one.